next guest combines her passion for sports and eating on her popular website, The Hungry Fan. Please welcome Dana Falk. Dana Falk, hungry fan and also game day expert. Dana Falk. Yay! Yay! Dana. My name is Dana Falk. Uh, I am known as the Hungry Fan. Hungry Fan and what I do lives in the overlap of sports and food. You've got a bunch of dudes sitting behind a desk and they travel to a different college town every week. And there are like 10,000 people going bonkers behind them. Behind them. Like flags and like colors everywhere. I mean, it's like nuts. It's like mayhem behind these like four very like stayed guys and they're very like thousand dollar suits or whatever you know very fancy and there's never any attention paid to those crazy people behind them and i'm thinking like that's where the fun is that's it i know because i've been there i've tailgated with those people like that's awesome that's where i want to be who buys the tickets who watches the sports who shows up before the game to support the team who does all that that's the fans but there's never any mention of the fan and so i thought okay there should just be there should be somebody, like a curator, an expert, a, a voice of authority, to, to be that person for the fan, to help them have a better game day. Everything from what they're doing in the parking lot, to the watch party that they're throwing at home, to helping them find the best sports bars, wherever it is that they're going, to watch the game. All of those things are sort of encompassed into Hungry Fan, and it's really just meant to help you, the sports fan, because I'm a sports fan, have the best possible day ever. When you look at the number of people who participate annually, either in the parking lot or at home, or even just on Super Bowl Sunday, you figure out pretty quick that food is a very integral part of being a sports fan. It's not elsewhere. Like if you go to China and you go to a sporting event, you don't see people shoving food in their face. You don't see people, not that that's what we all do, but that's what I do. So I say that speaking for myself. But you don't see people, there's no tailgating. Like people don't show up early. There's no cars parked in the parking lot where people are like hanging out. It's just, it's not a thing. We do it here. It's really uniquely American, which I think is really cool. I came up with a recipe for buffalo chicken tacos. So basically taking the bone out and using like boneless tenderloins to take that same tangy, yummy, sort of sour, tart, spicy flavor and put it on a tortilla with like blue cheese crumbles instead of the blue cheese dip. It's a very popular one. It's so, I'm sorry, like not to toot toot of my own horn here, but it's really good. When you think about sports, sports bring, brings people together. When you think about food, food brings people together. Combine the two, like, touchdown. Like, yes, that's what I'm saying. It's a party, it's awesome. So that's why I tried to focus on food. Also because like it just gave me an excuse to come up with recipes all the time and eat them.